hi techies so welcome to this video so in this video we'll see all the ba basic anypoint studio features and what are the uh, availability on this studio uh, this studio is similar to uh, the eclipse studio if you have worked in java coding and then you would have developed in the eclipse environment it is called the ide the e developing environment for the java code so similar to that one for mules of code we have the anypoint studio so this anypoint studio is the developing plat environment for a mule code so let's see what are the features that are available on this anypoint studio developing environment so here we have the uh, like as it is in the eclipse we have the package explorer so uh, let me tell you if you have not worked on the eclipse that is also not a problem because some beginners may start uh, learning mulesoft uh, without a java background that is still fine because anypoint studio is very easy to learn and uh, you have all the inbuilt functions that can be used uh, on the go and you don't have to uh, code anything like in java you do not need a detailed coding stuffs or a prior coding knowledge that much required as in java so this anypoint studio is still good for those who are uh, starting it as a fresher okay so if you don't have an idea because in some places i may compare it with the eclipse even if you have not worked on the eclipse and environment it's still fine yeah so this is a package explorer where we can see the uh projects that we are going to develop in the in a mule code and uh, mule projects and this is uh, where we go and create uh, just whatever project that we want to create it can be either mule project or a uh, sorry for that it can be a mule project or mule domain project or a java project and then integrating it with the mule project uh, so we have a number of options adding a mule configuration file to an already existing project or uh, adding a folder or uh, any even the small files like text files or uh, xml files within the application can also be done so this is how we can add a new project and start working on so then comes with the searching searching functionality and the project cleaning and building the run uh, this will provide us the configuration we can provide configurations while running our mule applications and the debug configuration as similarly to the run configurations and we have a window where we can see all the perspective when we want to open a new perspective so here we have the what we are currently looking here is the mule design perspective so if we want to modify it to a debug mode then we can just switch the uh, uh, workspace like there so now we are in mule design uh, just uh, look in the top right top right corner uh, where my arrow is so this is a mule design environment so next if we want we can move to the mule debug uh, if when we are doing a debugging testing or we can go to the other perspective where it is an api design when we are doing a designing phase so let me just switch and show it here yeah now i am on the mule debug perspective so here it can show us the all the which starting point or currently at what point the application is running and we can just execute and see evaluate the at that point what values that the variables or the application has while debugging the mule application so in the api design uh, similar to that there will be uh, the api specific details like connecting to the ram uh, api console and we can see our raml and the api uh, console will be shown here the endpoints that we have developed with the raml um then we have let me switch back to the design mode mule design so this is the perspectives windows we have then here we have the console console we need because we we need to monitor when the application is running what is the happening in the uh, 
application and whether the mule code is project is deployed successfully or not deployed or failed because of any reasons then those details will be listed out in the console we have the mule palette here where we can have the all uh, components and transformations are available here just a click and drag and drop in a few minutes you can configure a, an application quite simple application you can do it within the minutes of time so that is one and the main components like uh, http listener requester are here but apart from these components there are a lot many more uh, components that are there which is inbuilt in the mule soft which we can just check it over by just keying in any uh, technology like Workday, Salesforce, or uh, XML transformations, validating an a schema, or uh, even the transform message, VMs. So all all of the components are here available. Once you key in the words, it will just show list out what are the. Uh, uh, available inbuilt uh, components or transformations that are here in this version of AnyPoint Studio. So when we are talking about the version, so if we want to check the version of this AnyPoint Studio, we can go to the basic help and in the help section, you have the uh, last one the about this AnyPoint Studio. So it will list out the version here. So now uh, this version is 7.8. I think we have uh, there another version, latest version 7.9 has also been released. Uh, this I have been installed some month ago. So I think a latest version is also still available. So this is how we can check if we are doubtful of the version of AnyPoint Studio. So each version will have some updates that is happening and the mules of patches or releases will be there. So when you want to check for updates or you want to upgrade your AnyPoint Studio, you can just click on help, check for updates and there are still updates available. It shows me in a pop up in the bottom right corner of my screen and uh, yeah. So here it shows that AnyPoint Studio 7.9 version is available as I said. So there is one latest version it's available. And we have the update on the tooling kit, MUnit plugin and the API editor plugin and this. So it will list out what are the updates and if we want to install we can select all and give them uh, then click on the next and get it all installed. So this is one thing. and coming to the m units we have the m units uh, here i'm just so m units are helpful when we want to check or test our code that is a mule flows whether the coverage uh, of the mule flows and uh, how it works we can just uh, write a m unit which is again a mule flow which will mock the data and test our actual mule flows so it will also list out the coverage of the code that we are able to test in uh, in percentage level it will show us the coverage in the percentage level uh, like a 70 percent or a 80 percent code is tested and covered and the it will generate a report which is very actually good functionality we can just click on the generate report here once we have written the m units we can just click on the generate report and see the uh, coverage of the our m unit codes that we have tested so if there are any immunity errors it will list out even them here and here it will in the m unit uh, uh, window it will show the number of tests that we have written m unit tests and uh, number of runs that is uh, out of 10 tests it is uh, running which test right at the moment and it will also highlight it here like six out of 10 tests have been running and how many tests had errors or failures or if 
everything were passed then those details will be showing here right so this is the m unit stuff coming to this um, mule pallet so this mule pallet will uh, only be visible uh, see this is now going kind of disabled if we want to list out all the components then we need to open our mule configuration file so once we are in the mule file only then the mule palette will show us the components so yeah so this is a basic http requester and the mule properties are useful when we want to configure the http or any other uh, drag and drop components or transformations so this is the basic of uh, the any point studio and we have walked through each and every part of this canvas and the mule palette and the console and m units and uh, all the perspective all the three different perspectives mule design debug and api perspective so this is the features as uh, it's available here and there is one uh, thing I would like to tell is the if we check here on the window and preferences page once you start developing the code you will be coming to this page many times preferences page uh, why I'm telling this is there may be some updates on the JREs or some update on the any point studio that you want to make so so you will hit this page many times as possible because we need to change the preferences so uh, to for example take console let's consider the console so we are going to see our application and its logs okay application logs in our console so here by default in the initially it will be very less buffer size where your half of the logs will be lost before you could check it so I mostly it should be a little higher than this. So we, we keep changing this one so we can see the entire logs. At least uh, we will not miss out on the logs. So likewise, there are many changes, custom changes that we want to make Java, JREs and uh, if we want to modify any uh maven maven and uh, java runtimes earlier was like it we need to install them in our system to in start the anypoint studio successfully so they were not coupled with this anypoint studio but now with this version this latest versions uh, J java and maven need not be installed in your system but still Anypoint Studio has the package within it and it will run perfectly fine. You need not have to install any of them in your system. This comes with the package of all the required stuff. So here we can see the JRA system library. It is automatically getting mapped to that one. Once you cl uh, cl create one project, you can see all the required server mule server here the mule version is 4.3 that we are this compatible with this anypoint studio version is mule 4.3 and the http updates and we since this all projects nowadays the uh, as of now everything is mavenized project so we have a pom file coming with the project when we create it in a scratch level it comes with the simple pom file without uh, many additions if you want you can later on add on that but it comes with the pom file because it is a mavenized project when we create it it is all been taken care in the latest releases of mule soft earlier it was not the case we have to mavenize the project manually by just clicking on this and mule and add mavenize the project we had an option called mavenized here so those those uh, things have been included in the latest uh, fixes and all so when you right click uh, sorry
when you right click on this project you can see uh, this mule and if you want to add any maven dependencies you can add a maven dependency just clicking on add maven dependency or if you want to add yum units you can just say configure m units and uh, those kind of things manage dependencies you can also um, deploy the code directly to the cloud from here and download raml all all those uh, options are listed out in this one so i hope this uh, initial video is uh, very informational to you as a beginner start learning the anypoint studio and it's uh, exploring the anypoint studio i hope you have it would have been very useful to you uh, please let me know if you have any comments on this video i would be happy to uh, address any of your uh, comments or if you if you have any queries on this uh, yeah i will uh, try to respond to you as early as possible thank you guys have a nice day